Now let's take a journey into how we can use Flash in conjunction with After Effects. As you see here, I use the familiar little blob character that you'll find in something like Pac-Man, and I've simply animated it very simply inside of Flash, and I brought that Flash exported movie, the Swift file, into After Effects, and as you can see, all of my Flash animation, which are just the eyes, is retained. So what I'm going to do is head over to Flash, and as you can see, I am using Flash CS5, and all I did was simply create a very simple character. All right, this is a, a blob shape created with the pen tool, which you'll find right here. And I simply did something like this to create the shape for the character, all right? And then once I did that, I grabbed the old selection tool and I just grabbed all that selection. Let me move this guy out the way first. I grabbed that selection like so. I grabbed the old paint bucket tool and then I filled it in with a color. So I grabbed a swatch, grab my paint bucket and click. Then what I did was I drew a marquee like so, and then I grouped it. So I went to modify and group. Now before I group this, let me show you guys why, especially for those of you who've never used Flash before, why you group things in Flash. This stroke here can still be modified, and I can move the stroke independent of the fill color, as you see here. So by grouping it, I can make sure that it stays together. So I go to modify and group. And that was my body. On another layer, which you can create by clicking here, I created the eyes in a similar fashion. But instead of using the pen, I use the oval tool. And I simply put it oval like so, grab the uh, paint bucket again with a white color, and I grab the paint bucket and I clicked in it. So that's how I built that character up. So you just take your time and you build your character. You draw another oval and so on. So here's another oval. You change the color of the paint, grab your paint bucket tool, and you build your character. Now once you've done all that, and you've done all your animation, and your keyframing, and your motion tweening, and once again I'm sorry for you guys who've never used Flash, but VTC does have some excellent Flash courses, so definitely check those out you can then bring this animation into After Effects. So let me go ahead and just get rid of these guys here because I don't need them. And I'll put my character back here. And I'll just scrub the uh, playback head as you'll f you're familiar with already in After Effects along the timeline. And as you can see, I have some rough animation. In reality, it would need a lot more work, and I took only about one minute to prepare this to show you just a quick example of how you can create a fast character. So, what's the advantage to using Flash? Well, there are some drawing tools, like those in Illustrator, that simply don't exist inside of After Effects. So when you're going to create vector characters, or backgrounds, or anything, it's a little easier to create them in Flash or Illustrator. And then when you're done, especially if you want them animated, you animate them in Flash, and then you go to File, Publish. And I can go to File, Import, File, and then I can bring that Swift file in, as you saw here. And then this is the file that I have in my timeline that already has the animation that you saw inside of Flash. Now what you can do is you can add all the special effects that don't exist inside of Flash onto your Swift file. So you can do your particles and your color correction and your distortions and everything that you want to on this character inside of this comp. So once again, don't forget to click on the artwork in your timeline and then the effects are all available and you can do things like distortions and perspective. You can do stylized, you can put a glow on it and so on. So that is how you can use Flash in conjunction with After Effects.